morning guys well afternoon um we actually we did a lot this morning we went to the store we did last minute shopping for like christmas recipes that we're making we went to church we're eating these protein chips they're called proats chris got it for work they're pretty good i mean they're a little grainy but 15 grams of protein that's from brooklyn New York. I'm also eating brahmi beans. Um, it's just like a bean snack. I put them in a bowl because it's easier to grab. We're gonna start making food for Christmas. My mom made a lot yesterday. But I'm gonna be making dessert right now. I pre-made the cocktails. So I like made like, I don't know, I don't know. I like quadrupled my recipe. I'm gonna put it in a big jar in the fridge so that when we get there we can just pour it. Um, I made my apple cider Moscow mules. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it down below. It's on our website. And then what else are we making? Calamari. My mom's making the vegan calamari or calama. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. Calamari. There's stuffed mushrooms. There's gonna be vegan tamales. There's going to be. Russell's making cookies. Um, my friend's making mac and cheese. Vegan mac and cheese. We bought um, a whole like vegan meal from this, um, excuse me, fair, this pop-up called Senna, Senna Vegan here in LA. I think that's it. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm making for dessert. Super simple. I'm not actually making anything. I just bought it from the store. Let me show you. Got some of these um, vegan cinnamon rolls. And basically, I was inspired by Caitlin's monkey, monkey bread. It's like her full apart bread that she made. Um, this is like a cheater version of it, but, but basically you just get the cinnamon rolls, you cut these into small cubes or balls. So each cinnamon roll I'm going to cut into like four to six pieces, I'm just going to see how big they are, and then you pile them into a butt pan. We're just going to grease this and then pile them in, and then bake it like that, and then you just flip it over and then take this off, and then you can just like pull apart the bread um, as dessert, so that's what we're doing. Can you pop this one? I always get scared. It's a little scary. So right. basically we are taking these I'm and... Them in fourths? Uh, I think four is too big, right? I was thinking maybe six. And then rolling them? I'll show you. I saw... So there. I'm like... Hey! I had like a rough idea of this. I'm not sure if this will work exactly as planned. But you just go oh. like that. Should I roll them into balls or should I just leave it? I guess. You can roll them into little cool. balls like this. So we roll them into little balls and then you put them in a greased bunt pan. And we're just going to keep filling this until all of these are rolled. All these are cut up. Here it is, and now we're gonna pop it into the oven. I don't know how long we're gonna bake it yet, but I'll let you know what it turns out in the end. Okay, so we are prepping, actually we're prepping recipes for tomorrow for breakfast and for dinner with my dad's side of the family. And so I'm making the chilaquiles that I made for the pita competition that I said I was gonna put on my blog, but I haven't yet because we haven't done proper photos. But if you guys want the recipe, I'll just put it down in the description box below. Um, so, Basically what I'm doing right now, I'm making the sauce. So I'm sauteing some onions and garlic, and then I'm gonna add some of these dry roasted tomatoes to our blender. All right, yeah. <laughs> and then we put in some, so we have chili powder, cumin, tomato, I think this is a, oh, this is not tomato paste, this is chili paste. <gasps> and it spilled all over me. Oh, yay. All right. I don't even oh, know what I just opened. Man. Where did this come from? Oregano. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the more you, you then throw it, the less it oh. works. Alright. <laughs> this is not going well. Okay. Cumin. 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 Secret ingredient. I put a couple dashes of cinnamon in this as well. You would never know. Black pepper. Whew. 
hot sauce of your choice. So I'm gonna be using Yellow Bird because hot this is what sauce. we have in house. It's what everybody likes here. And lastly, we just need some vegetable broth and then we're gonna blend it and then cook it on the stove. Here is how the pull apart bread turned out. We're letting it cool right now, but we baked it for about 35 minutes. And then we're gonna flip it over and then, I don't know if I'm gonna drizzle it yet or serve the icing on the side, but it smells amazing and I, re I really just wanna eat it. Should we eat some? Should we try it? Taste test? Next up, Chris is prepping the tamale filling. How's it going? So far so good. A little stress, but you know. What's the holidays though? A little stress. <laughs> And then I'm currently putting together the tofu scramble. So right now I'm just sauteing some onions and garlic um, in vegetable broth. And then I'm going to add in the tofu and the seasonings. And I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I think it's pronounced tofu. Tof tofu, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Quick tip, when you make your tofu scramble, if you're adding nutritional yeast, I like to add it to the pan before I add any more liquid, um, just so it toasts up a bit. That sort of deepens the flavor, and I don't know, I just love how it turns out, so I just suggest you do that, and then add in the tofu and the rest of the seasoning and the liquid, so let's get to it. Okay, and I look naked, but I'm wearing a tube top. Last but not least, I made the um, cashew cream. So there's chipotle pepper. There's half of a pepper, actually. There's cashews, um, juice of a lime, salt, nutritional yeast. Um, what else did I put? Water. Read you the ingredients. And salt? Yeah, that's it. Um, so this is the best part of the recipe. I think this brings it all together. And you can also use just like vegan cheese on top, but um, I like having this like spread over the whole thing because the cheese doesn't really melt. So this is my personal preference. So yeah, again, if you guys want the recipe for this, um, I will link it, I will link it. It's not anywhere yet, but I will list it down below. And I'll show you guys the final product tomorrow because this vlog is gonna be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because we're doing a lot of fun things. Um, so I'm just gonna put away all the food we prepped because all the food we just cooked is for tomorrow. And then Chris and I are gonna try to film a video right now, which I don't know if that's a good idea. And then we're gonna go to my aunt's house, so let's do this. Can you focus? Don't mind my messy bed. Um, just got ready, got some makeup on. And then um, I'm wearing what I wore to, what did I wear? Oh, to the um, Animal Equality Gala because why not? And then right now I'm eating a Go Macro Bar because I'm starving. And let me flip this around. It is uh, about time to go. I don't know if we're gonna eat right away. So I'm having a bar because I'm starving. And I feel like we've just been running around all day. We've been helping my mom a bit. She crushed it. I don't even know how she cooked as much as she did. She like whipped out all these things. I'm like, when did you do this? But I will show you the um, vegan spread that we have going on. So my aunt reserved a whole table for us, which is awesome. It's gonna be all vegan. Mm -mm. Chewing. Look at this. Here is the final product of the pull apart bread. I added the uh, frosting on top for the cinnamon rolls and I also put some in the middle if anybody wants more. I think it turned out awesome. It broke a little bit, but let's not mind that. Then we're bringing our party platter board so we can make a vegan party platter when we get there and that's basically what's going on. And here are some vegan tamales from Mama's Tamales in, I think it's in Koreatown. Um, our friend Heather got them for us and we just steamed them up, they were frozen. And now we're gonna pack these to go. So, it's been a little chaotic so I've been helping out with the setup, but this is what we got going on. Um, you can see all of these people set up. And then we brought some vegan friends along today. You guys remember? Yeah, well, Russell and also, and it's just most places now. Hey! hey. <laughs> We're being so vegan right now, talking about bone sugar. Oh my gosh. CNH, we looked that one up, right? Was that the yeah, one? we did. Dude. Okay. And then I made a jumbo Moscow mule, um, apple cider Moscow mule, so I've been serving this to everyone. And here's uh, my, my dad. Hi. Oh, I didn't, there you go. Again, here's my dad. 
All right, so we got some steamed veggies, some brown rice, and then my mom made some fried tofu thing with veggies on top. We have a tamale from Mama's Tamales. We have some Senna vegan here um, with some guac, and then our friend Heather made some mac and cheese with croutons on top. So this is our dinner, and I think Chris got basically the same thing with some refried beans. I went. smell. I need to smell it. Smell it. Okay. So what what did you make here, Russell? Okay, so I love esquites or elote. It's like corn with mayo and cheese and chili and Sweet cilantro. Corn. Is there veggies in this? Uh, there isn't. I was thinking about doing that, but then I was like, eh, so I didn't do it. We could do it. Yes. Uh, so Momofuku Milk Bar has corn cookies, and so I took that recipe and I veganized it, and then I like messed with it. Um, so basically, that recipe normally uses corn flour. Instead, I used popcorn flour. The other Wait, thing that makes it. Where do you get that? <laughs> I know that I'm wondering too. Where the hell do you get popcorn flour? Actually, freeze dried. Like some space stuff? Yeah, the fr so the freeze dried roasted corn. Um, it's available. A lot of natural food stores will have it, but it is on Amazon, and it's like four dollars and fifty cents. But I think they're running like. Madame Shing's on Amazon too. There we go. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, those are different cookies, differently delicious. <laughs> Instead of um, cotilla cheese, um, I use parmesan because it's so salty. Okay. okay. Um, so anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna start at the bottom with a little micro cilantro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, because what is happening? Cookies? Yes. It's good. Yo, Here we go. Really so good. you take like a little bit. Okay. Like that. A cookie bowl. I feel like I'm in a county fair demo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Vitamin. I gotta be, I gotta be convinced, Russell. Right. A little bit of cheese. A little okay. bit of cheese. Because again, we're trying to we're trying to mimic some of the flavors of esquites or lo there. Chef? Yes, thank what you. Is that one? And yes, then sir. this is finger lime pearls. Is um, yes, that would be good. Like, like it's like a whole like caviar situation. I don't know. I'm making these like fun cookies. And then a little ancho chili powder gives it a little bit of that, of that that spice. Not too much. Did you try this already, Chris? There you go. And then, bam. Okay. There it is. All right. All right, we got a cookie bar station. What are we doing? Taking a photo? No. Yeah. Sorry. Are eating the cookies? I already ate too much. But I did too. No. <laughs> I, did I already too had much. one. I'm going to buy you first. I already had a piece. Sorry, I got everything. Get everything at once. No, I, I, know, you, like, oh. I know. You have to get it all together. You have to get it all together. All right, knock off. Wow. Then you, you get all the textures and you get all the flavors and it's all like... So Dude, that's so good. Thank you. I did not know what to expect because I've never had something like this before. And wow. You're like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I made it. It's way too complicated. Like, I would never suggest someone make this. <laughs> New vegan in the house. Here's Ka, everyone. Ka. Uh, Christiane. I don't know what to say. <laughs> um, this is my first Christmas being vegan. How do you like it? How do you like the food? Oh my God, I'm really the food was bomb. We had senna that we got. I had, um, I don't know what the meat was. What was it? Oh, carne asada. Yeah, and then there was some bomb ass guacamole. It's a cookie. Okay. I think Mexican food. Spanish rice. Right? Um, what else did I have? Did you bring those cinnamon rolls? Yeah. I had bomb ass cinnamon rolls. Um, <laughs> Yeah, dude, what? Girl, it's only nine. Wake up. We're currently playing a game with the newspaper. And when the music stops, we both have to fit on the newspaper somehow. I don't know how that's gonna work, but. We should have gone. We have smaller. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm scared. You have to have dual.
Yeah, yeah. It looks exactly the same. And then on that drawing from like the religious thing. Good uh, boy. Come on. On, on the right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, he took the wrapping paper. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Down. I was contemplating, I, I was asking Miguel, yeah. should I already Got sushi. do the pop? Yeah. That's small, you mean. Yeah, I guess. Chris got these lights uh, for White Elephant yesterday and we're testing them out. It's pretty cool. Hello. So. We're going to vlog our Christmas day today, but for one thing we got to the Christmas breakfast late and I made you lucky less, but it's kind of rushed and I just didn't get to vlog. I'm sorry about that. Um, and when we got home, Chris and I just cleaned up a bit. Chris, Chris, myself and my dad cleaned up a bit. Then Chris and I filmed a video, which you guys are going to be seeing on Friday. It's all about cocktails um, for the new year. Chris is too busy for us right now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, and it turns out my mom's sick, my grandpa's sick, and my aunt is sick. So no one's coming over for Christmas tonight. We're going to reschedule Christmas. And we are just having um, Senna vegan again because we have to eat it. We don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to show you guys what we're making. We have the crema, guacamole. We have all the salsas, rice, refried beans. There's um, the Spanish rice, some pollo. Mm -hmm. Salsa, and then Chris is, he just wrapped up a burrito, and I'm going to be making some tacos. So yeah, that's our uh, exciting Christmas Christmas night tonight. Not the most Instagrammable, but it is bomb. Can I see your burrito, babe? Let's get a glamour shot going. How is it? Is it Senna, Senna material? It is. Yeah? You did a good job to replicate it? I did my best. <laughs> so apparently Chris is not feeling well either. The autofocus on this camera is not good. Chris is not feeling well either, so he went to go lay down. And I was gonna make tamales today for everyone, but even though everyone didn't come, I'm just gonna make them and freeze it. So I made the dough, I soaked the husks, and I'm going to get started on it. Um, if you guys want a step-by-step -step tutorial on this and to try out our homemade recipe, um, I will link it down below. We just shared it on our blog yesterday, two days ago, two days ago. So yeah, I hope you guys can try it out. Uh, I've been seeing a bunch of people make it on Instagram and they look awesome. So I'm going to do like a little time lapse right now of me making it just to make it easier. But if you guys want to see the process, I'll show myself making a few here and then I'll show you the final results at the end. is currently steaming and then when this guy woke up and he's putting together some hot cocoa um this is the zen bunny chocolate uh chaga chai i'm so excited oh there it is <laughs> hi guys so it is definitely not christmas anymore um but i wanted i wanted to let you know that the tamales were successful um but i was making them for like three almost four hours because each batch took a long time to cook, and we only have a small steamer pot, so. We can call it a batch. <laughs> so I had, I was up for a while, but I ended up not ending the vlog, because I was just like so tired and over it, and I just wanted to go to bed. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for joining along our Christmas festivities and craziness. Um, my family does the same thing every single year, and we play games, and we just have like a huge party, and it's, it's fun. Um, Chris is now part of it. Chris, what do you think of our family part? It is unlike anything I've ever experienced. <laughs> so we are going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and we will see you in the next video. Bye!